Hi everyone. So I wanted to do this quick video on this vitrograph glass. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And also I had a lady named Janice from JLE Art who's on my Facebook group and is also um, a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Um, wanted to know if you could paint vitrograph glass. And she asked me like four weeks ago, I was on vacation for two weeks and then I got sick. And um, anyway, I'm just making it. So anyway, vitrograph glass is long strands of glass that they make from, I guess, melted glass. I saw a video on it where they actually pull it, this melted glass through a hole and uh, break it off. And this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna bring you up close in a minute, but this is four ounces of glass that you can get on Etsy for $16.99. So this is what four ounces of vitrograph looks like up close. And this can be cut with a nipper tool in the larger areas and in the smaller areas that are real thin, the nipper tool is not, um, can't do it, but it very easily snaps with your finger like that. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> and then this is different colors of vitrograph glass. It comes in all different colors, the white, black, green, transparent, or um, not transparent, but translucent and opaque greens brown, yellow, blues, different color blues, red, all different colors. And the reason um, it's such a good idea to paint it is because sometimes you need all different colors and um, you only need a little bit of one color and you might not need it for anything else. So it would be great if you could paint it. I feel like the most, um, ordered glass is probably the green because it's often used for stems. And here's an example. I used it for the stems on that project. Hope you can see that. And I also used it for some uh, little stems on those flowers there and on multiple other projects. I used it for um, the butterfly antennae and for the body. And um, I've also used it for whiskers on a, a bunch of different projects. I've used it for whiskers. I also used it on my Christmas uh, Rudolph. I used the vitrograph glass for the antlers. And, um, and then there's a couple other things I used it for. So I don't know if you can see that way up at the top, I used it for the pumpkins uh, tendrils, those swirly things that the leaves would grow on on a pumpkin. I also did the owl's feet on this. And then if you go up here, you can see I did the, let me see if you can see this, the bluebird's feet on um, this piece up here. For um, the aerial roots for the orchid plant. Let me back up a little bit. See that? I think those turned out real cool like that. So to get back to the question about painting, yes, you can. So I just used, um, so I just used regular acrylic paint and you can use spray paint and actually I think it looks a little bit prettier with spray paint, but um, all the spray paints I have are translucent so you would see the color through it unless of course you're using the white. So here I used regular acrylic paint, white, blue, brown, and black, which are common colors that you might need for something. The uh, when you buy vitrograph glass, it's either opaque or translucent. The blue that I have on the table there is translucent, and I was going to use that for um, jellyfish tentacles. I never got around to it. I think I've had it for about a year. Anyway, um, and no, the acrylic paint is not shiny, uh, but when you put resin over it, it would become shiny. And this is green um, translucent glass that I use to paint. So anyway, Janice, yes, you can paint it. You can use, I also did some with spray paint that I have out in the garage, and that looks pretty with the translucent on white. Um, but I don't know how good it would be with a darker color. If you're using translucent, you'd have to get a darker uh, spray paint, an opaque spray paint. 
And this is what the white glass looks like spray painted. So this was the Tamaya translucent spray paint on white. And this is the green, which is more of a blue green. This was orange. This is the red and blue, and they're all the translucent and very shiny. But remember, even if you were to use acrylic paint, it would become shiny when you put resin on it. So um, if you don't, I mean, if you don't have um, vitrograph glass and you don't want to invest in it, all of those things can be created with other things. Stems can be created with stained glass, whiskers. I've often used um, the rhinestone chains that I picked up on Amazon, and we recently found them on a website called Temu, T-E-M-U, which they are about half the price. You can't get the real large sizes, but I'm told by some of the ladies on Facebook that the quality is very similar to Amazon. So like you could use this for a thin stem if you wanted, um, if you needed a real thin one. And um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you. So I hope you learned something new today. And Janice, I'm sorry I took so long to get back to you, but the um, answer to your question is yes. And if you guys have any other questions, um, be you know feel free to ask. We have the new Facebook page. And even if I don't know the answer, somebody else does. I do not know the answer to everything. Wish I did, but I don't. And um, a lot of the ladies have been doing it longer than I have. Some are newbies, you know, they're, they're at all different stages and it's um, a great group. So um, Facebook page, Crazy Glass Lady, Glass and Resin Art on Facebook. And um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you wanna be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.